Mashaba Bafana Bafana coach. Welcome Mr. Skrima Chabalala. All protocol observed. Uh, my name is Tavisa Mosia. I know maybe some of you will recognize my voice from a Power FM. I'm a sports presenter there. Uh, but I am here to I'm here to speak as a family friend, having known the family for the last 15 or 16 years. And uh, when I came to a in 2002, I had no job, I had no place to stay. And where I was squatting, I decided to open a car wash. And um, that's what we call him, Utem Ngozi Mandoza, was actually my first customer. Uh, he had three cars at the time, and I would wash a car every second day. But because I was not renting there, I was squatting, the landlord was not happy, and I had to close the car wash, and I had no source of income again. Uman was a one tata what must come and stay with him at Renberg. And at the time he had just gotten married. He had Utukulo, he was about a year old. And I asked um, if the wife will I will will, will approve and he said no. Asam Bemfana, Asam Bemfana, Yim Umandwas, Uzozo Ngamlo. We got to the house, uh, he introduced me, Umpo, I already knew Umpo at the time, but he told Umpo ba, okay, I will be staying with them for a couple of days. And uh, because he says he sees something in me. And he wants to assist me and see what we can do together. Umpo, I remember even she offered me biscuits and mango juice. I even asked him mango juice by you. Which juice is this? And it's still my favorite juice at the moment. And I ended up staying with the, the Chabalalas for about 18 months until I, I got a job. And during that time, Umandoza, no general, no Sbube, Chizgop, they took me everywhere they went. Um, if we got to a performance and they wanted to sleep over, no one booked for me, they would make sure I get a room, otherwise we are leaving. And that's how it was. I remember Mondoza was sponsored by Nike and they would take me with him to the shops. I could pick anything I want. One year they went to a London, a Nike town, not general. When they came back, they brought me stuff from a Nike town and I couldn't believe it because Nanga Sebin at the time. And uh, after that, I managed to be on my feet and he always said that he wants me to assist but uh, music was not really my thing, and what he always said to us was that you must do whatever you want to do, as long as you believe in it, it will work. And now I'm a sports anchor, I'm a sports presenter at Power FM, and I think those words encouraged me very much. <clears throat> and I, would, I, I think that without their assistance during that time, uh, maybe I wouldn't have survived the job. Maybe I would have gone back home, maybe I would have given up, but they gave me support, and here I am today, I'm still uh, with the family. And um, just what I can share about Umtu and is that um, Umtu was very spiritual. Before anything, he prayed. Before a performance, we all prayed. Uh, everybody pr uh, uh, prayed. He was big on family, as you can see with the kids, Utukulu, Tumelo, Nokarabo, and we would like to wish them uh, a strength. I know Utukulu wants to be a football player. He's, he's very good, and we need to make that dream happen. That is his dream, and that is his ambition. I don't know where he got it from, because his father, doesn't even know. One day his father saw Tiko Mutise and Tiko was so happy to see him. And his father was, Oban Lotat, I, along Maz, we are cool, we are actor. And he didn't know and Tiko Mutise at the time. And so, uh, just to end off, uh, Mpo, you've been very strong this week, Sisi. Uh, you've been very strong for all of us. Uh, I'm sure Tina Sizokala next week. And I think you've given us that strength. And I, I know that you would like to say a few things, prob uh, probably at the funeral. Uh, I just uh, hope that we're going to pray for you and we'll give you strength so that you can come here on your feet and you can say a few things at the funeral, if possible, because I'm sure you would like to share a few words about, about your husband. Boys, uh, Karabo, your father will always live on forever. Uh, Mandoza forever, that is the hashtag that we are using. Um, Mandoza had a new song called Asimang Limang. He says it's not anyone. Uh, that can survive what I've survived, that can do what, I, uh, what, what I've done, and that's the new song that is out. This man was still working, even though he was cool. And Utugulo said to me yesterday that actually Umandoza wanted Ukwesta, no Caspanio vest on the song, because he says they represent Kwaito, and they wanted them to do a remix. So please, if they are watching wherever they are, Caspar, no Ukwesta, he really wanted you on his new song. Let's make it happen, guys. And finally, 
I would just like to thank the people that have come to the house that have been with us. Uh, Minister Natim Teto, we saw him from the first day. Uh, Minister Natim Teto, from the first hour, from the first minute when we were grieving, he was there. And even when he had other commitments, he left behind his people that were there with us right up until this moment. They were the first people here in the morning. They've been with us until midnight in the house. And we hope that you'll continue supporting us and the family uh, right up until Friday. And goes.